What's going on guys? Back at the seeker spot again. Today I'm using the AM fishing lures. Pink. Rubens is down south. We're gonna see which one can catch more fish. Today's video, AM fishing lures versus down south lures. Testing out the new Shimano Tranks. Let's see how well it throws, how well it holds up. Ruben's already hooked up. Literally first cast. First cast, boys. <laughs> first time. Look at that little guy. Honestly, I think I scared this guy. Oh, look, this guy got a chunk missing out of him. I think I scared him walking over here. He has a truck missing out. Look at that. Sheesh. I'm gonna take that out. I don't know how well y'all can see that. Oh, I got a chunk missing out of him. Gonna let him go. Won't even touch him. Let him be on his way. Hopefully reproduce. Probably a male. Got the Corrado 150 MGL. Throwing pretty good. It's still in use, so I mean that's to be expected. First fish on it, a little flounder. Got another flatty right here, boys. Boys, uh. ah. we're two for the day. Ugh. A little big, hey, they're getting bigger, man. I like that. This one might be 15, boys. Like, he might be. Hey, they've been close too, dude. So work it all the way. Let me see. 15 on my rods from the middle, middle of the guide to the start of the little uh, real seat. Not real seat, but the ferrule. Let's see. Oh, nah, he's about 14. Down south doing work, dude. Chicken of the sea. Water's actually pretty clear, even though it was like the cold front blew in two days ago. Let this one go. Even if he was 15, we're gonna let him go because, you know. Honestly, I like keeping them when they're like 16 or bigger. It's just. <sighs> kind of not worth filleting to me. <laughs> but they're always fun to catch. That finger mullet? Hey, you need a piece of wood, dude? That's like $20 right there, bro. Better catch it. One of those uh, wildlife refuge alligators. First hookup of the morning for me. Been, it's been a grind. Staying to the bottom. Oh, it's a big one. <laughs> Man. Sheesh, world's biggest lizard fish, man. <laughs> man, I thought I had a flounder for a second. Then he came in too easy. Uh, yeah Fuh, dude he was coming in i stuck him it felt like a 
like you were bringing in a freaking rock, man. And then he took off, he killed some dragon. Damn! Oh, oh they're here! Oh man, that's. I don't even want to keep fish, but like, it's just so much fun catching these flounder. And that's part of the reason, because you lose a lot of them. And you know what's funny? Uh, in my opinion, when I'm fishing with lures, especially going after flounder, as soon as they hit it, I bring in the slack and stick them. I did that with those first two little ones, hooked them. But this big one got off. So I don't know, like some people wait. Honestly, I never liked to wait. Uh, when I started, uh, I used to wait and wait, you know, give them 10 seconds, 15 seconds, blah, blah, blah. You know, I gut hook a lot of fish and I'd still have them get off like that. When I started doing the, as soon as they hit, bring in the slack, they're still there, stick them. I started landing a lot more. And even with that, I've had flounder still swallow. You know, take it all the way to the gut. So. That's what I like to do. Everyone's different. And a lot of the flounder guys will tell you to, you know, wait. But uh, I don't know if y'all guys watched Gut John Skinner. He has some great underwater footage of flounder hitting uh dude that dude catches fish right he kind of follows the the philosophy that i came to prior to watching them is that you know as soon as they hit it you just stick them those ducks up there probably y'all can't see on the footage bro man. <sighs> i'm a little salty dude that was a good one that was um i if y'all probably couldn't see it in the video because he stayed to the bottom but I mean, that would have filled up the net, probably like a 20 incher, 21. I mean, you know, it's a good one when you stick them and like, they don't really move. Albeit we are using uh, this uh, medium light rod, but still. But then he started running in. He started just swimming with it. And they took off and got off a little. Dude, oh man, they're here, boy, they're here. Oh, I'm sorry guys. I just get so excited. It's been a while since I've caught a big flounder. So Being that close Gets you pumped man Like I said, it's 55 degrees, but I'm, I'm warming up now. I'm warming up Y'all stay tuned. Let's check this out So uh, the stringer was uh, just floating by you know, I got my stringer uh, right here My blue stinky pants Ruben has a pink one right there not ours so we see it uh, floating by. Oh, catch it, catch it. Oh, the flounder's still alive. Yeah. Look, no, no. They gigged it. Look. They oh, gigged it. look at that. They gigged an undersized flounder. Like, come on, guys. What the heck? And turn You can see the, the blood spots right there, but turn around right here. Still alive? Still alive, so we're going to let him go and keep the stream, bro. What stream? Oh, see. you know what? Hey, I'm going to take a picture. Look, keep him in the water so he don't die, right? Yeah, I was just floating right here. I am recording, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're recording. recording too. It was just floating past us. I honestly thought it was mine because I was, I had just messed with my net and whatnot, right? Uh huh. Yeah, I'm like, no, mine's still here. Like, mine's here. Look. Because it's, it almost looked pink from a distance. What is that, naughty hooker or something, or what? I'm not familiar with that. Hey, if you know who, uh, who stringer this is uh let them know texas parks and wildlife wants to talk to him that's not even I'm close that's a 14 inch flag I'm dude. Uh, dude i'm assuming like he saw a game warden or he got spooked or someone said hey i'm gonna call a game warden but i mean right now it's what eight o'clock in the morning yeah. we're, the, psh, we're like the first ones out here so came down from the bridge And I'm gonna measure him too to show he's undersized. Yeah. All right. Pick it up. Catch of the day, guys. You got a good picture?
Oh. He's undersized, dude. Because 15. That's 15. 15 like right here yeah. at the end of the guy. And he's only like right. He's right under here if you close his mouth. Yeah. So he's a 14 and a half, man. Like, come on, guys. Let's. And they Not only did they gig him, but they string them up and like let, let him go. Like hopefully he lives. I mean, there's some tough suckers. He's chilling. Hold on. What's that needle? Yeah, they they made their own stringer, I guess. Well, it was like a. Like a Phillips, bro. Flathead. Yeah, yeah, it's a nail. Oh, shit. Gangsta. Oh, yeah. He's just chilling right there. Hopefully, he lives. He might not live, but I mean, he was kicking when we yeah, picked we him up. But no telling how long he's been on there. It's 8 o'clock, and he's probably gigged in the middle of the night. This is the fine, kind of final bed we're looking for. It's a little old, but uh, there's my size 12 boot. Barely make out the tail. Pretty sure that's a flounder bed or an old one, but uh, that's what we're looking for. Looks like the one I lost. Well, that's gonna be it for today. It's hard to tell who won. Fishing was kind of slow. I did end up uh, catching two flounder on the down south. Lost one, the actual big one. Caught, a, caught another flounder on a stringer, but Mac did get that Corpus Christi Grand Slam. Got that ladyfish, lizardfish, skip, uh, skipjack, a branch. All he needed was that, like a dead body. And a shoe. And a shoe. <laughs> uh, but man, those ladyfish started tearing up that down south. Yeah, towards the end, I just kept on hooking ladyfish and ladyfish. I didn't even record it. It was just, I was already done, man. <laughs> Anyways. If you like the video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell notification. Get notified of more videos like this. Drop. And as always, y'all have a great day.